Hello and welcome everyone, Wolf here. Today we'll be reviewing Catherine Classic on Steam. As always for those kind of reviews, we did complete Catherine to 100%, which include the story in hard mode, all endings, all Towers of Babel, as well as all stages of Rapunzel. Catherine was one of the hardest challenge we've got to face on this channel, being an extremely hard game to 100%. Also, Frog did play Catherine with a controller, and I also tried with keyboard, so both methods works. As for the best, it is probably controller, as it is originally way it was intended to be played. This review will be spoiler free as well, so if you never played this game and you might be interested in it, feel free to stay. As for the game itself, let's talk a bit about it. It was developed by Atlas and published by Sega. Catherine is a mix between visual novel and puzzle game with a brutal difficulty. The story of Catherine will let you play as Vincent Brooks, a young man in his 30s struggling to commit to marriage with his longtime girlfriend Catherine. Until one day at the stray she bar, Vincent, after having drank too much alcohol, meet a young girl named Catherine. Vincent end up having a one night stand with her and soon enough during that time Vincent will start to experience some nightmares in which he is a sheep. That's about it for a short preview of the game, this is about what you'll know about one hour in game. The story is big part of Catherine, as there is 8 different endings and the game remain a visual novel as well. I'd say the story is well made. You can still see it was done by a Japanese studio, as the view on society differ from European or American, at least that's what I've seen. But that didn't make it any less enjoyable. Now let us talk about the gameplay. As far as the gameplay goes, it is in my opinion even better than the story part. The gameplay is the most addictive part of Catherine, maybe because of the fact that it is so hard, you can always get better and become faster. Clearing the whole game without guide is a challenge in itself. Then the Babel Towers that have randomized blocks drop is another one. But before going further in depth, with all this, let's talk about the basics. Catherine's gameplay is about climbing a tower and for that you will have to move blocks. There is also a timer that will make the blocks slowly fall as you climb. So you'll have to be quick, but you'll have to think cleverly about how you're gonna do so. As far as techniques, there is too many of them to explain them here. You'll learn them as you play, as all those techniques will help you clear the game. Now clearing the game in itself, even in normal mode, remain a challenge. You have to know one thing, Catherine isn't an easy game, not at all. It is a game in which you'll be forced to learn to succeed. If you do not learn, you'll be completely lost, as all the techniques have their purposes to get you out of some sticky situations. The rules of the game are relatively simple, but the different problems that you will face are gonna ask you to use either your logic a lot or to perform the same thing over and over again until you know it by heart. People with strong logic will have it easier in Catherine, but I believe people that lack this skill will still be able to clear the game with strong will instead. Catherine will offer you different game modes, the golden playhouse, that is the story of the game, it is hard and you can fail. There is four difficulty, easy, normal and hard. And very easy, that is the last difficulty that you will be able to unlock with a code on the main menu that make the game stupidly easy as it give you items to be able to jump multiple blocks at a time. If you do not desire to do the puzzle and just want to experience the story, this is the difficulty to play on as even easy remain quite challenging for someone new to Catherine. As for normal, it is quite hard, and hard is even difficult to clear one stage without a guide. The second game mode is called Rapunzel, and it is inside the stray she bar and you will be able to play it. You'll have limited credits every chapter to play it until you finish the game. Once the game is finished, you'll unlock the free play that will allow you to pass as much time as you wish on this mini game. That is in truth just another game mode. The gameplay remains the same. You'll play as a prince trying to save his princess Rapunzel from the evil witch that captured her. In this game mode, blocks won't fall and you will be able to think as much as you want for your next move. It is much more relaxing than the base game as you'll never run out of time. And the last game mode is called the Babel Tower. You will unlock that mode by getting the gold trophies in the golden playhouse. There is 4 Babel Towers and you'll need to beat all stages with a gold trophy to unlock all of them. Gold trophies are obtained by not letting combo run out, 
and grabbing all the gold coins in a level. So it is something quite advanced to do that you most likely will unlock late into the game. As for the Babel Towers, they are the ultimate challenge of the game and even allow co-op but unfortunately not online on PC. So you'll only be able to play it if you have a friend close by. The Babel Towers are ultimate challenge of the game. They possess also a leaderboard in which you'll be able to compare your time to those of other players. Each of the four towers are randomized and have random patterns of blocks falling. It will require you to know the game extremely well and to sometimes be a bit lucky if lacking in skill. Each of those towers have a different theme gameplay wise, I'll let you discover those as we are talking about post game content. But if you end up going there, I'll gladly hear your sad stories about Obelisk. Let's talk about the graphics and soundtrack now. The graphics of Catherine are extremely good and probably won't ever age too much in my opinion. It is very anime like, with gorgeous cutscenes and character designs. It is definitely a good point on this game. As for the soundtrack, Catherine's main theme that you could go and listen to after this video called It's a Golden Show. It is simply brilliant in many levels. That sense of being crushed by overwhelming difficulty of the game to finally have the sad tone leaving for a more cheery one symbolizing the fact that the players start to learn how to play the game and start to feel in control. I am sure I'm not the only one to have felt this way. Except that title, some others are worth remembering and I keep listening to them from time to time. There is also a lot of classic tunes for the levels. The quality of the soundtrack is good, it's not for everyone I suppose, but it fit the game and I wouldn't see it any other way. Now let's head to the positives and negatives. As for the positives, we can talk about its story, the story of Catherine is mature and talk about things that can happen in the life of adult and how to deal with them. As for the gameplay, it is one of the biggest strengths of the game. It is well done and difficulty to master. You'll be able to pass an enormous amount of time on Catherine and still feel like you can learn. There is the Babel Tower that will always bring you a challenge. There is a good amount of content, the game is willing to teach you on how to overcome its difficulty if you are willing to listen. I do not see how someone could get bored if he likes Catherine's gameplay as there is always something to do and way to get better. The graphics and the music as I've said are great and help with everything else. The character design is good as well if you are into this. As for the negatives, well, I've praised about everything about Catherine, so what could be negative? Simply the fact that everything good about this game is simply very niche. Catherine isn't something everybody will like, the story is special and while most people like it, it really speaks more to the Japanese people than to European and American as it reflects more on their society than ours. Catherine's gameplay, while being the biggest strength of the game, remained the part where most people will give up. Puzzle is already a niche genre, but when it is that hard and demand you to be that good, it won't make everyone happy and I believe the game won't appeal to a lot of people because of how the gameplay is, and I'd understand that very well. Now all the games have things that not everyone will like, I'm aware of this, but I think some games make it easier to appreciate them, not to pass on awful time like Catherine is gonna give to those that are unwilling to learn the gameplay. The gameplay will be unpleasant to some, as they do not desire after a long day of work to think about moving blocks. Now, as for my conclusion, with all this, people will think that I actually loved Catherine. That's not the case. I actually disliked the game quite a bit and I had to force myself to play it. It definitely gets better, but Catherine remains an extremely hard game that needs you to love puzzle games more than visual novel to be enjoyable fully. It mixed two niche genres together for a game that is truly unique. I believe Catherine is a great game that I didn't enjoy because it was simply not my kind. But I am glad that I did it as there is a lot of love poured into it. It is very difficult for me to tell you if you're gonna like Catherine as the game is very addictive because of how good it is but very repulsive because of how hard it can be too. One thing is sure, if difficulty is something you're not into, either play it on very easy for the story or avoid it at all costs as Dark Souls difficulty wise is a joke compared to Catherine. I hope if you hesitated to play Catherine I could help you make up your mind. Thanks for watching the video, to everyone have a good day and take care.